Today, I have a good one. I was on the web the other day. I was looking at this Japan import tackle uh, streamcast with a Japanese fisherman. And he was talking about some different lures that were coming on board. And this one came across as pretty interesting. Check this guy out. This is uh, Kasumi Designs. And it is called the Bone Doctor, the Dancing Bone Doctor. And uh, made in Japan. The one I just showed you is 4.2 inches long. It's all the way from the antennae to the butt. Yeah, it's a really cool lure. I would say it's probably going to most likely emulate a craw. Um, the bigger 4.2 looks like it would be perfect on the back end of a chatterbait or some type of jig configuration. But what's really cool for you smaller rod and smaller water body fishermen, they make a two and a half inch version. And that's pretty cool. And we'll get these out so you can see what they look like. Very interesting bait, very interesting packaging when you get these. They come prepackaged, individually wrapped into a piece of plastic because I would imagine it would be hard to keep these things in good form in a package, uh, especially crammed all in there. So you get them individually wrapped. I don't remember exactly how much they were. I think your Japanese baits usually run eight, nine, ten dollars a bag. So they are not inexpensive. I don't even know how good these things will work. Let's crack one of these open and see what they look like in my hand. So there's no real scenting on it that I can tell. Look at that guy. I mean, there's so much action there, so much going on. The body curves, the head's always moving. Um, this is the uh, blue. It's like a blue craw with a pumpkin on top. Uh, they have all kinds of cool colors. They have wild looking, um, you know, bright chartreuse, orange, reds, uh, browns, your pumpkins, your blues. So this is something you definitely want to check out. Yeah, so these are very interesting to say the least. I don't know if I'm going to put these on my hooks this winter. I'm not sure if this is going to be a great winter bait, but it is definitely something these fish around here have never seen. I really like this little one. The only problem is I'm having with these, if you notice the center line of that body, it's kind of skinny and it's difficult to figure out what hook or what arrangement you know, to put this in. The larger 4.2 seems to have meat down the center. Um, so you could easily hook that. That one's looking perfect for like some type of jig head or a mushroom head or even like uh, a chatter bait or something along that line. The little teeny weeny one, I mean, this the thick part of the body at the very rear end maybe could be something good for a drop shot. Um, but I think maybe like a Ned head on this might be good. You guys tell me what you think, how you would rig it. Um, because it's a little skinny and frail down the center. Hey, so I wanted to show you this Japan Lure Museum website that I found. I think it's pretty cool. A lot of the lures that Pat and I like from Japan are on this site. And I'm not really sure how I found it, but I was looking at some different baits. This guy does different videos or different baits and he'll swim them around in a tank. You never see their face. He's always wearing a glove. Um, but yeah, all the Japanese cool lures are on here. So if you wanted to see what they look like in the water, how they react. Now he's not fishing these on fishing rods and using them live in the water, but he is kind of giving you at least a glimpse of what you'll be looking at when these things uh, are swimming around. Like here you can see the cover scat. Yeah, just anything, these, this little semi-frog, the, the wiggle wart, I mean, they've got all kinds of cool stuff in here. Not saying that these are lures that you should, must, and have to buy, but if you're looking into some of these different Japanese baits, they're pretty expensive, so you might want to try before you buy. So it'd be good to see the stuff before you order it, and then it has an action that you weren't expecting. Lots and lots of videos, lots and lots of baits. So yeah, I would recommend Japan Lure Museum. It's only 1,250 subscribers which is kind of low. It was surprising for me. I thought this would have a lot more subscribers. Like I would think it'd be in that 30 to 50 K range. Cause I would think that a lot of people would be looking at this. Maybe I'm just the only weirdo that uh, <laughs> sits there all day and watches uh, lure videos. But anyhow, just a recommendation, Japan Lure Museum, check it out. If you want to see some cool new lures that you probably haven't seen on the shelves here in America, good place to go. Anyway, back to it. Um, the other thing was, on Tackle Warehouse, there was a streaming video, and I'll put the link to the streaming video down below. The Japan Import Tackle interview with uh, Muninora Kajiwara, 
I think is his name, um, was really cool because he introduced a couple new baits that we haven't seen. 2021 first look. So this is last year. So the Bone Doctor's been around for, it looks like a year or two. It really interesting looking bait. If you want something that just looks strange and different, it's worth a try at least. Check out the one video from the Japan Import Tackle interview in the links below. And also check out the Japan Lure Museum. It seems to do a pretty comprehensive job covering some of the lures and the availabilities from Japan. At least might cover some of the ones you're interested in. So give it a look, check it out. Something to do on these winter cold days when you can't fish. Right now we've got four to five inches of snow kind of laying around, drifted on the ground, and we've got some icy pond. And so there's not a lot going on. I've dabbled a little bit into gardening this winter. I'm doing some hydroponic stuff. No, I'm not growing that. I'm growing herbs and spices for my kitchen and whatnot. I'm always looking for new hobbies and new things to do. So I'm never going to sit still, even if I can't fish. And you guys have a great rest of the Sunday and enjoy this week coming up. For those of you who can fish, congratulations. And I'm happy for you. A little bit jealous, I'll be honest, but you know, it is what it is. You guys take care, tight lines, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.